Hi, I'm Senator Jim DeMint. As you may have heard, President Obama now believes the only solution for lowering our massive budget deficit is to raise taxes on the very people and businesses who are still creating jobs. The tax cuts I'm proposing we get rid of are tax breaks for millionaires and billionaires, tax breaks for oil companies and hedge fund managers and corporate jet owners. It would be nice if we could keep every tax break there is. But we've got to make some tough choices here if we want to reduce our deficit. The president is right about one thing. We need to make some tough choices on the road to fiscal responsibility. But higher taxes on successful families and businesses won't solve Washington's spending problem. We've tried that before. It doesn't work. Let's look at the facts. Over the last 70 years, federal revenues have averaged about 18 percent of our gross domestic product, regardless of whether Washington took 30 percent or 90 percent of wealthy folks' income or something in between. A squeezing the rich may make some politicians feel better, but it won't create jobs or balance the budget. What will? Look again. The real source of federal revenue growth is economic growth. When the economy grows, so do our tax revenues. New businesses, jobs, and prosperity are all good for everyone, even the government. Raising taxes on our most productive workers and profitable businesses won't net government a bigger piece of the pie. It will just leave us all with a smaller pie. So when you hear the Democrats tax the rich rhetoric, ask yourself, who should spend the money to get our economy moving again? The people who create jobs or the people who created our national debt? To me, that doesn't sound like a tough choice at all.